Oh hi, you caught me blowing some bubbles. Welcome to the Discovery Center. My name is Jillian and I'm a senior science educator here at the Center. I'm really excited to be able to talk to you about bubbles today because I have an experiment that you can try at home with just a few simple ingredients. We all know that we need soap and water for our bubbles and what I've got here to help you get started is some dish soap, lots of water, but I also need a secret ingredient and that's because some of the worst enemies of bubbles are what cause them to pop pretty quick and one of those is evaporation. I need to add something else to keep my water staying in the liquid state a little longer so my bubble sticks around. That secret ingredient is something you probably have in your kitchen, some sugar. So to get you started, you'll want to have some warm water so that your sugar dissolves a little easier. You might want to do this ahead of time like I did so that my bubble solution was able to cool down before I was ready to use it. To get you started, you also need a nice clean surface. Another enemy of bubbles which will cause them to pop is dirt and oils. So we need to make sure our surface is clean, smooth and not greasy. You'll want to add a little bit of your bubble solution on the surface. Spread it out gently so you don't create lots of foam. We just want a wet surface to work on. And then you get ready to blow your bubbles. To help you do that, it might be easiest to use a straw. I have brought my reusable straw today to see if we can get some bubbles going. Dunk the end into the solution, but make sure you don't get the part going into your mouth soapy. And we can gently blow on the surface. I created a pretty big bubble and I hope you can see that really well. My next step is to try and blow another bubble inside of that. It takes a little bit of patience and a little bit of being careful, but it's pretty simple to get going. Dunk your straw in, gently insert it into the other bubble and blow another one. Did you notice any changes to my first bubble? If you're thinking yes, you might have noticed that the bubble got a little bit bigger. As I added more air from my breath, that volume changed and the odor bubble needed to expand to make room for the one inside. Let's see if we can go for a third bubble. Oh, my bubble's actually separated. It kind of looks like a little bubble igloo right now. That's pretty common and you might have that happen at home. Keep trying. You can always pop them spread some more solution and start over again. The fun part of science is that we can keep experimenting until we find what works just right for us. Hopefully you get some bubbles inside of a bubble and if you do share it with us. Show us your pictures on social media. We're so excited to see what you come up with. 